got to pull up my sleeves. <sighs> Welcome back to AJ Living. Today, I'm actually gonna be making a keto coconut chocolate rough. I think that's how, that, that's pretty much keto chocolate coconut rough. Yes, keto chocolate coconut rough. Is it keto? Well, yeah, because I'm using sweetener and it's coconut. Okay. So for those ingredients, there's actually gonna be two parts. There's a base and then there's also the topping. So I'm just gonna tell you all the ingredients now. Coconut flour, sweetener, vanilla bean extract, coconut MCT oil, cacao powder, desiccated coconut, and coconut cream in a can. How's that, Jason? He's very particular today. <laughs> We're like caffeined up to here. <laughs> Me, however, I'm like on one shot of caffeine and I'm up to okay. here. Jason's on four shots and he's up to here. Okay. <laughs> Ready to go. So how I've laid everything out is I've got my scale underneath my bowl so I'm gonna weigh everything. For the coconut flour, you're just gonna need 40 grams. 50 grams of cacao powder. 160 grams of desiccated coconut. And then I'm gonna add in 50 grams of sweetener. And you just wanna add in a pinch of salt. That's all you need. And to combine everything all together, I'm gonna to put 110 grams of this MCT coconut liquid oil. And now we're just gonna mix it all together. Mix it all together. Just be very gentle, um, unless you'll get coconut and cacao powder and you never know what else all over you. I've got my oven tray here. I've lined it with baking paper. This tray measures 24 by 24 centimeters. And just pat it down. You want to make sure it's pretty even and I'm going to put it in the oven on 180 degrees for 15 minutes. The base has been cooked for 15 minutes and I've just let it cool for the last 10 minutes and now I've put it in the fridge just to quicken the, uh, the cooling process. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make the topping. You're going to need 65 grams of coconut cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of cacao powder. Jason and I don't really like our sweets to be too sweet, so I'm not sure how much sweetener I've got left, but I'm gonna use the rest of this. Beat it all up and then do a taste test to see if it's sweet enough. If it's not, I do have liquid stevia with me. 26 grams left of our sweetener. And now I'm just gonna beat it all together. I'm gonna add in 80 mils of the thickened cream just because the mixture doesn't look thick enough to me and this will help it thicken. I'm just gonna do a little taste test. Mm, it's a lot richer. I'm glad I put that extra cream in because it's actually brought out a lot more richness in the topping. So we're just gonna see how we go with this, okay? Here is my base. It looks really, really good. It smelled amazing when it was being cooked. So it's all nicely firm. And I'm just gonna pour my topping on it. I've sprinkled more coconut over the topping and I'm going to put it in the fridge and just check on it to make sure everything is set properly. And then I'm gonna take it out and drizzle dark chocolate all over it. Been a couple of hours, I'm gonna check the coconut rough to see if it's actually firm enough. But before I do that, I'm gonna melt some Lindt's dark chocolate. We love Lindt's dark chocolate, 90% always. So I've got one block there and I'm gonna probably do another two blocks because we don't really need a 
lot of chocolate here. So I've got my Bay Marie with my hot water and then another bowl to melt all my chocolate in. I'm just gonna put just a smidge of cream just to make it a bit more, more, if you know what I mean. A bit more. A bit more. Chocolate and the cream were actually getting a bit thick, uh, which I wasn't expecting. So I poured in just a small amount of MCT oil, just to give it a bit more glossiness, a bit more flow as well as we're drizzling it, or as I'm drizzling it actually. Okay, I think that's ready. So I've got my coconut rough here. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge, let it all harden up, and then at the end, we're gonna cut into it and have a taste test and see how everything goes. 10 minutes later, the chocolate is hard. I'm going to pull it out of the tray and give it a cut and let's see what's inside. I'm just gonna call Jason over to do a taste test. So Jason, come on down. Hi everyone. Oh, this looks delicious. Can I go? Yes, of course, go. Tell me, tell me. Tell me, I wanna know. Feeling's really soft. I, yeah, I saw that when I was cutting into it. Mm, it tastes amazing. But we need to try and figure out how to make the filling a bit harder. Freeze it. Mm, maybe freeze it would be better. Mmm, so good. Mmm, this is yum. Reminds me a little bit of a mm. Snickers. The base is really good because it's been baked and the top is really nice and rich. Mm. Even though it's soft, but... I like it soft actually. If you want it hard, put it in the freezer or if you want to make it harder, maybe um, mix coconut oil with the cacao powder instead of the coconut cream and the normal cream. That's what I reckon. If, when you take it out, yes, the topping will melt a bit because it's coconut oil, but it will be hard when you put it in the fridge. It's actually really tasty. Good work. Oh. Another, another great treat. Oh, that's all good for you. Mmm. This is so yummy. That was freaking awesome. I loved it. I love the base. I love the mixture of textures. The base is so crunchy and then the top is so smooth and silky. It's awesome and then you've got the blobs of chocolate the dark chocolate is so good thanks so much for watching please subscribe to our channel for everything that we do here on aj living and remember to give this video a thumbs up and a like until next time people bye